I think I've picked up a little friend. He's got no collar. And he's so little and out on the road all by himself. But he's... Oh! Oh, there you go. You're home now. I can't believe I've been in Ireland almost two weeks and I haven't had any Canterbury's. I'm telling you, there's a difference. Mm. You know what? It's in the dairy. Mm. I'm going to bring a boatload of this home for duty free. <laughs> Cadbury in any shape and form. It's delicious. And it's rest time at the Wallace Hotel. Ah. Ah. This is going to be my view till tomorrow morning. Well, the good news is I was able to wash everything in the shower along with myself. The bad news is I also gave mum and dad a bath. Oh, their little funeral cards were in my uh, breast pocket of my shirt and uh, into the wet it went. So they're drying out. All set for another day on the Ireland Way. Cheers! Good morning. It's day eight on the Ireland Way and it's rush hour in Mill Street. I'm just making my way out of town, heading towards Newmarket. Had a great rest at the Willis Arms Hotel. Not Actually, not a great rest. I think I sleep better in my tent. And uh, they have there's this green light spying on me all night and I thought what the heck is that so I asked them about it on my checkout and they said oh that's the smoke detector but honestly it's like having a green night light in the on the ceiling going in your eyes all night anyway and I got my stamp on my my Ireland way passport I feel like a toddler getting a gold star. It's very exciting. So 137 kilometers behind me, uh, 800 and uh, whatever in front of me, and away we go. It's a road walking kind of day. Yeah, everybody talks about how this is the worst haul. It's 30 kilometers to Newmarket. I believe I found the side entrance to the castle. This is, uh, what does it say? Drashane Castle. Two days ago, I came over those mountains and uh, just about halfway down there, uh, down that big one, was where uh, Sheila Murphy took me home to Dennis Murphy and had a lovely evening with them. And uh, I'm kind of sad to leave the mountains behind because I really am a mountains girl. I love mountains. The Blackwater River Pedestrian Bridge. I'm really glad this was built not too long ago. I've seen videos of uh, people trying to cross, but the footbridge is the way to go. And there's my little friend. So now I'm on from Mill Street. You start on the Northwest Corkway. And these bushes are in bloom everywhere. I just can't remember what they're called. See, you can see them all lining the side of this field. They are those prickly little close to the ground shrubs. Um, when I was hiking at the higher altitudes on the Barrow Way, getting prickled and scratched with almost every step. They look soft, but they're very prickly. But now I see that they're in bloom. So I wonder if I went back up to the Barrow Way now, a week later, 
would all that low prickly shrubbery be an array of yellow? Oh, today is Sunday. And those cars are there because people are going to pass. And I just saw a family rush in and it's one minute to noon. I bet there's noon mass. And I said I would go wherever I could for mom and dad. So I'm gonna see if it's not too far underway and join right in. Oh, he's going to bump again. There we go. It's amazing how lovely it is to see you all coming towards me with an iron gate between us. It's bloody hot. It's 26 degrees and it's humid. <laughs> so it's even hotter. It feels even hotter with the humid act. I'm taking five minute break every 6K and that seems to be fine. Liam Butler. Liam, that's the name yes. of my grandfather. Oh, very good. Liam Murphy. Oh, very good. Yeah. And my... My ancestors all came from the market. The market in Wheeling. Up oh, there, the market is where I'm headed today. Yeah. Yep, up, to, yep. up, to my, up, to, up to the promised land, we call it. The promised land, all the way to Newmarket one <laughs> day. Yeah. yeah. And how long have you lived here, Liam? I'm living here. I bought this house about since 2018. And look at this beautiful house. Built in uh, 1948. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, that was a very nice chat with young Liam. And he offered me to fill up my water using his outside tap and he's on well water. Oh, it tastes like home. Cause we're on beautiful well water at home. I didn't enjoy the water from the Willis Arms Hotel in Mill Street. Had a funny taste, I don't mind telling you. But now I've refreshed with cool, clear, natural spring water. Delicious. And such a pleasure to meet Liam. The people are just lovely. Everyone you meet, so friendly. And what's your name? Dan Collins. Dan Collins. Yeah. And uh, I see myself in that. Do you? I do. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. You're a movie star now, Dan Collins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, show us how you walk with your sticks, Dan. Not too fast now. Oh, look at him go. That's fabulous. All right, now back. <laughs> Don't want him to get lost. Oh. Okay, bye bye, Dan. Bye bye. <sighs> At that tea in the road, so I just came up here about 12k away from Newmarket, and the Bar Bar Brefna Way sign said turn left, but I did notice that it only had the bicycle symbol, which means the cycling route is going left, but there was no little yellow man. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I guess we're both going this way. Why didn't I check it? I went over a kilometer downhill. I had to come all the way back up because I hit a road and went, this isn't right. It was a main road. I'm not supposed to hit a main road. I'm supposed to hit forest. Check the map. <sighs> Back up, 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 past the barking dogs, past the mooing cows. <sighs> anyway, back on track once again. Well, it's 6 30. I started at 9 30 this morning. My dogs are barking. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to stop. 
I've just got maybe another 1.5k. Uh, not to Newmarket after all. I learned that there is a forest where people actually do camp um, along the way in the forest. So I'll get a, a, a water supply in there and a, hopefully a decent camp spot and then just be two or three K out of Newmarket in the morning. Well, a couple hours ago, it was 30 degrees, sunny. I was putting on more sunblock, sweating buckets, re rehydrating. And now, yeah, temperatures dropped, maybe 18, 19. And it's been spitting for the last hour and I've been ignoring it. Can't ignore it anymore. It's really raining. Ah, uh, the infamous, infamously, I'm so tired. The infamously hidden footbridge across that field to go over the Dehani River or something like that. And I've seen several hikers videos where they've gone across the river and then looked left and seen the footbridge. But I read the Ireland Way guide and it says turn left and cross the field to go through the foot uh, over the footbridge before the river. Only one little catch here. <sighs> Electric fence. It's just a little bit too high to go over it in the inseam. So I guess I gotta go under it. I, I actually did test it and it is it is live. I just I just tapped it with my back of my fingernail really fast and it went zzz. so uh taken off the pack and under I go. Are you kidding me? Oh for goodness sakes. So there appears to be a path constructed now from the road, a fenced in path from the road to the footpath. And I can't get there across the field, even though the Ireland Way guidebook tells me to. You know what, probably accurate for the writer in the moment that he did it, but it either needs up, to, it needs a new addition or it needs corrections or it needs warnings. Yeah, so this is where Hikers previously would either wade through in their shoes or take off their shoes and go through. And I don't care, it's not that deep, I would do the same. Oh, I see why they missed the footbridge. Because you can't see it until you're across this little river. Anyway, I mean, it's really nice that they made a footbridge and even nicer that they updated it with side access. But, you know. Put it in the resources, man. Well, I'm in, but everything's wet. I mean, the rain cover kept the pack, the contents of the pack dry, I guess that's good, but now I gotta dry out the floor and everything. It's very tricky getting a, uh, a tent up in the rain, really tricky. But I'm off the road. I think it's about 7.30 and I started it. 9 30 this morning so i am grateful just to have stopped for the night have found a relatively flat spot by a river which is a great water source i'll make do with what i have now but i'll at least be able to refresh in the morning hopefully the rain stops throughout the night that's it for now